Hello everybody, I'm doing a quick video today and it's a tutorial on how to use a custom launcher such as the Google Now launcher on an Android device. Um, custom launchers aren't something that's new to Android, it's been there for many years now um, but just recently Google put their own launcher that can be found on the Nexus devices on the Play Store for any Android device regardless of who it's made by as long as they're on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean or above. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to switch to that launcher and basically how to use it and what the pros and cons for it are. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the Play Store. Let that load up and we're going to do a search and we're going to search for Google there we go, Google Now Launcher. So there we go, it's the top result already on 5 million downloads, that's impressive. So we're just going to install it and that shouldn't take too long. Just installing now and there we go. So now what we're going to do, really easy step, we're going to press the home button and it comes up saying complete action using. Uh, the blue box will appear under what over what you're currently using and we're going to switch it to the Google Now Launcher here at the top and then click the Always button. So now here we go, Google Now Launcher, continue, set up Google Now Accept, and then here we go, it says, so welcome, make yourself at home. So here it's telling you how it works, so you can go this way for Google Now, say OK Google to start a search, and okay, create more screens for apps and folders which I'll show you. So we'll click OK. And here we are, we're in our main space. It does mess your wallpaper up at first, and I will show you how to fix that. But here we are on our main screen. So it sets up a Play Store icon, your basic dock icons, and a small folder with Google Apps inside it. You can change all of this around later on. The biggest feature of this launcher is just being able to swipe like this and go into your Google Now. So you can see your card. So we can see a travel card here, something about Pacific Rim here, a current location card for me, uh, for my weather, and click more on another travel card as well. So you can also do a Google search, obviously, you can tap Google, and you can type in what it is, and you can do that from your home screen as well. Just do this and start typing in what it is you want. But perhaps the best feature, and I'm just going to make sure the sound is up for this, perhaps the best feature is what's called hot fret, hot key detection, or hot phrase detection, I should say. So I'm just going to show you how that works now. OK, Google. What time is it? The time is 3.36pm. And you can use it all for the sorts of things like that. If you're watching the TV um, and you want to know more about what it is you're watching, you could just say, OK, Google, listen... It heard me. Listen to my TV, and then it would listen to the TV, and it would tell you what it is that you're watching. It would tell you who's in it. It will even tell you whether or not the uh, theme tune is available to buy, and um, give you a link to buy it as well if that's your if that's the sort of thing that you'd like to do. So let's come out of here. So to get to your main apps, it's the normal kind of thing, you have the button in the middle there and that takes you to a your app drawer where all your apps are arranged in an alphabetical grid and things like that. If you want to place one to your home screen then you can click and hold on the icon and you just drag it there like that. If you want to delete a screen, say you don't want this particular screen, say you just, just want this one and this one, all you have to do is delete all the items on that screen by picking them up and flinging them to the top and there we go, now I've only got one screen. If you want to create a new screen, then you just drag an icon to the edge and it will create a new screen for it. Um, let's say you want to add a widget like a clock. You would, if you're on a Samsung device, you can push your menu key, or if you're anything with soft keys that doesn't have a menu button, then you just push and hold on the screen and you click widgets. Here is the full list of widgets you have installed, and I'm going to go for my favourite dash clock. So we'll just install this here, confirm what extensions I want, and there it is. And then we can push on hold on it as well, and we can extend that down. And there we go, so I've got my battery information and my weather and things like that. If you want to create a folder, that's very simple. You just hold one icon, 
and place it there next to it and then you just hold it over the other icon and it creates a folder and you can tap the unnamed folder icon and you can name it as well and to get and to turn it and to get rid of the folder you can just drag the other icon back out so that's quite simple as well that's basically all there is with this launcher again um you can change your wallpaper as well it it this launcher doesn't allow you to disable wallpaper scrolling so what it will do is it, you'll enable your wallpaper and it wants to it's set up so that you'd have a lot of screens and you can scroll across it like that but personally I don't really like it that way so there is a little fix to get around it all you have to do is find the wallpaper you want in your gallery or in my case it's going to be in the don't know why that force closed in my case it's going to be in the infinite walls application if you haven't seen this app this is an app made by a friend of mine and I definitely suggest you buy it because the wallpapers he's making are extremely good and I think I'm going to go for the Guardians of the Galaxy wallpaper this time so you go wherever it is that you need to to set your wallpaper it's just grabbing my wall now um, and then you just set it again and once you set it again and it's changed this is after you've done the launcher it should now force it so that adjusts it for your lock screen, okay? You'll notice on the lock screen it's all adjusted. So you have to do everything twice with it, basically. It's this weird glitch. But it's still offset, it's still offset with the Google Now. So you just grab the wall again. And this time you go for Google Plus. As your cropping option. Adjust it and set wallpaper. And now it's centred, okay? So you have to mess around with wallpapers a little bit to get them working properly, but it, you get used to it eventually. So that is how you install and use the Google Now Launcher. Um, I've used a lot of launchers such as Nova, um, Apex, Holo Launcher, Action Launcher. Google Now is my favourite. It doesn't quite have the customization of the other launchers, but it doesn't really need to. This thing's main focus is its usability and its usefulness and with having Google now just a swipe away or an OK Google away that really is it that really is its strong point now let's just say you completely disagree with me and you've installed it and you want to get rid of it well there's several ways you can switch back you can either go to the Play Store and uninstall the app or if you're running a KitKat device you uh, just find the default applications button or the home button in settings and you go in there choose the home app and you set it back to what you want it to be and then you press home and it's back to whatever you want and I need to set the wallpaper for this one again um, if you're not on KitKat and you don't have that option it's still very easy to um, stop using it you go to your application manager into the downloaded apps find the um, app in question Google Now Launcher and you click the clear defaults button and then that will let you choose which home screen app you would like to use so I hope this little video has been useful for those of you who aren't familiar with Android's custom launchers especially the Google Now Launcher I suggest you give it a try it doesn't cost anything and I think you will like it it's definitely a very easy and nice to use application so uh, let me know if you think I've missed anything out and what your thoughts are in the comments. Bye everyone.